I've made a skirt that originally had two pockets on the side, curved pockets, you put your hands in, one on each side, and I've modified the pocket piece to extend all across the front. Super comfy tummy support, and I'm gonna show you how to do it super easily. So keep watching. Sneak peek. Hi sewing friends, my name's Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. In this channel, you will always see a lot of practical sewing content up close footage, lots of practical tips and techniques that you can maybe apply to similar projects you're making at home. If you think that's a cool idea, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, tap on the bell so you don't miss out when new videos go live. Today's video is about the Ravinia skirt from Love Notions. This is a super nice pattern for knit fabrics and it happens to be that today is a feature Friday pattern. So it is on sale today for $5 and it's also coinciding with the re-release of the pattern because it has been improved to include two more sizes. So now it goes up to 5X. The style of the skirt has three lengths, as you can see there, and the cutest detail here is the gathering on those pockets. So when you put your hands in there, there's a few gathers and there's binding there. And then for the waistband, you can choose what type of waistband you want to put on there either a curved waistband, a yoga waistband, and there's even a maternity option too. For this style, you really want light to medium weight knits that drape. You don't want anything stiff because or else it's just gonna stick out. <laughs> Those gathers are not gonna look very nice. So modal, rayon spandex, double brush poly, ITY, any lightweight knit that you think, oh, it just flows really nicely, I think, the features are just going to highlight more with that style of fabric. As I mentioned, the sizing was improved now to include up to 5X. So it'll go up to a waist of 49 and a half inches and a hip of 59 and a half inches. For this style, you choose your size based on your hip measurement. The skirt is not extremely full. It's not a slim fit skirt either. And on the size chart, you can see detailed measurements of the length for each version of it. So for the knee length, one that hits the calf, sort of midi, and then the maxi. Last year I made this skirt and it's actually the only maxi skirt that I have. In that opportunity, I chose rayon spandex in stripes and I did extra pattern pieces to have stripe play. And I used the maxi length version that is 40 inches long and I added two more inches so that it actually hits maxi for me or else it would have been sort of ankle length. I'll show you the stripey one I made last year. I super love it, even though maxi skirts are not really my style. This one is the only one I have in my wardrobe and I do wear it because I think the stripes are so striking um, when you play with them. So this is the curved waistband that you can see there. There is an elastic inside or just on the top. Uh, these lightweight knits, um, it's two layers, but it won't hold up on its own. You do need some elastic in there. So it's up there, sewn within that seam, and it's not uncomfortable at all. These are the pockets that curve there, and you can see where they gather, right there. And in there is the pocket, it's holding on with the binding together there. And then you have the other pocket piece that completes the hip area there. So you have one pocket here, you have one pocket there. I did an extra seam so that I could have my stripes going in different directions. So I've done the same for the front and the back. It was just extra time cutting and thinking and especially matching the side seams here because I wanted these chevrons here. On one side, the angle of the chevrons more shallow and on this other side, they are like that. So I had a lot of fun last year cutting this out super slowly in single layers, making sure everything was going to match. And there is a whole video on the channel already with a full pattern review 
and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do these really nice pockets. I also show there how to sew on the curved waistband with the elastic inside. So I'm not gonna be repeating that type of content. But I remember when I was getting ready to film last year, getting dressed, all that sort of thing, I had an idea in my head, like right at that moment, and I mentioned it in the channel, that I had an idea to modify the pocket pieces so that they would cover the whole front of the skirt and not be two separate pieces on the side. This is the inside, and this is what I mean by that there's a pocket here and a pocket there. And then across the center front, you'll have a gap on the skirt without pockets. And now this is totally normal. I mean, this is how you find 99% of garments. But I know Love Notions um, has a few patterns that cover the whole front on trouser patterns, the duet trousers, the summer cape trousers have those types of pockets. I've always thought they're so much easier to sew and also because they cover your whole front abdomen it just feels really nice on to have that extra layer there. It just feels really nice and especially with a lightweight knit like this just having this gap there with nothing else there I can feel it and I just wish the fabric extended. So the modification to the pattern is extremely easy to do and what I'm going to show you, you can apply to your own skirt, whatever size you're making. You just need to match your pockets to your skirt like I'm going to show you on the size that you're making. So I'm not giving you measurements or anything like that because you will be using your pocket pieces for your particular size that you are making. So this could work for you and I'm sure you're gonna love it. I love wearing this skirt like it is now, like with the whole front, super cool. So let's go ahead and see how it's done. You think this is starting to wear me. You've been raining down like hail on a week. This is the inside of the skirt. There's a waistband. This is how the pockets look inside. Mine has a center front seam because of the stripe play I did. Uh, if you were just using normal fabric, this would be on the fold, so it would be normal there. What I want to do is create one pocket piece that extends. So I want to fill in this gap where there's nothing there. So I'm just going to modify the pattern piece to include this sort of wedge area that's not included here so that it can just be one piece both for the pocket and the pocket bag. These are the two pattern pieces needed for the pockets of the Ravinia skirt. So this is the pocket bag. This is the one that is seen. This is where the opening will be. This is where you put your pocket. So that completes the hip area. And this curved piece is the one that is sewn to the front of the skirt. When they're sewn on the skirt and everything together, they are the same size as you can see if you match them up. This will be the side seam and over here uh, will go off to the center front of the skirt. So let's just keep these together at all times. I'm just gonna pin them there so that they don't move around. They're both on top of each other there. What you see here is the front piece of the skirt. This is cut on the fold, so you would have a fold of fabric there. And this would be the waist, and here would come the pocket. Although if you notice, this opening there is much bigger than that opening right there you want to compare them there. There is a reason for that and it's because between these two notches this will be gathered and so you will finally get the same shape and size from here once this is gathered to fit into there. So let's pretend that they're both the same. We'll ignore this uh, side seam here and we'll just concentrate on here. This top corner of the pocket will align with that top corner there of the skirt. So we'll just place them on top of there and they will align here on the waistline and you have this like diagonal line and that's how the pockets actually look inside the skirt. So what I want to do is just create one piece that will include this front so there's no empty space in the skirt and it's just fabric. So what I've done here is just got tissue paper, it's very see-through, I've already got it folded there so I have two layers there and I just place this on top there aligned it to the center front and then because I can see through it I have traced there the waistline I have traced there and along the bottom there and then I have also traced the shape of the pocket and then the shape of the other one so I've got the two on the one paper there at the bottom you can see protruding from behind the tissue paper a corner there of the pocket now I don't want that corner, I just rounded it out there. So it's rounded and then it goes off there. So 
the pocket piece will be rounded from the center outwards. So I've basically got my pieces now to cut new pocket bags and pockets that will be cut on the fold and will extend all across the front of the skirt. So I'll put these aside. You can see my pattern piece there. I've got two layers of paper, so that's good. The layer of paper that I have at the back will become the pocket bag. And then this one that I mark the curve, I'm gonna cut just that layer. And that will be the pocket. And now I've, I've folded this paper in half. I'm just gonna cut along that crease there. And I'll just label them, pocket, pocket bag. Now we're going to have one full pocket piece. <clears throat> you can see the tissue there. I should have used different color, but I don't have. That will be on the fold there, so it will cover the whole front of the skirt. And this will be the pocket bag. That's where your hip is gonna be. And then your pocket that will go onto the skirt is the same shape, the same size. It will also cover the whole front and this will be attached to the skirt. So that is how these pieces are just gonna create nice tummy support all across the front there. Now, for those of you who are into paying attention to details, you might notice that the pocket pieces had a grain line that was slanted. It wasn't like from the center of the pocket piece. And that's because the pockets were placed in that direction on the body. When I have adjusted the piece to include all the center, you can see that grain line is correct and it's parallel to this new piece. So the grain line has always been correct. It's just that on this piece, because it's a single piece, it looks different. And it's the same, it's on the grain line. This pattern piece is also on the grain line. So we'll just mark a grain line there. But it's obvious because we're cutting it on the fold, so you know you would always put the fold on the grain line. So you see the grain line is marked like that on the pocket piece and then when you place it on top, that is the fold, that is the grain line and it's parallel to that grain line. Here you can see the front piece extended, the wrong side of your skirt up and then you have your extended pocket that I've done in a red fabric so you can see it matches on the curves of the pocket entrance there. So this would be put the same as if you were doing one on each side. So the gathers on the skirt have already been done, that's why they match on the top. Once you've sewn the binding and that piece is all ready, you've got the binding on the curves, then you go ahead and put your extended pocket bag that you can see on top. It's black so you can see better. And that goes on top of the pocket and it just covers the whole front. You just match it up on the side seams, on the notches there around the hip area. And when you turn this around, you can see that that black fabric I've chosen is contrasting there. And you will see that when I put my hands in my pockets that completes that hip area. So this is how a pocket looks. You can see all that gathered area. That's why this piece was wider. That just goes together with the pocket. I've used a contrast type leather look jersey. It's super soft though, it's not stiff at all. And then inside there's just a full pocket. If I put my hands in the pocket like that, I can meet them in the middle. There, I can like touch my hands inside. <laughs> Love this. Here is the one that I've made for this opportunity. I've made the short version that's 23 inches long and I didn't modify the length. So the original length of the skirt is what I've got here. Rayon spandex again because I love these fabrics for these skirts. I think they drape nicely and I can always find nice prints. This is a tropical print but subdued <laughs> with greys and things. Maybe there you can see the pocket detail where I have the contrast black so that you can see that leather look jersey but it's really nice. It's soft. I made sure that this fabric because it was different to that one stretched about the same. I didn't want to stretch less. I want it to be sort of similar, even though it's a different weight. This one is slightly heavier than this one. I thought they stretched the same. So that's why I was confident to add that to the mix. And you can see that there. And then this is all just one piece at the back. The binding, I also sewed it in reverse. So I sewed it on from the back and then flipped it towards the front, folded it and then top stitched it down. And it's super neat. When you put your hands in there, it's red inside no one's gonna see that and I'm just trying to save my main fabric because 
I have just enough to make a simple neat top. So I was trying to maximize my main fabric so I can make another garment. That's why I also did the inner waistband here with the same rayon spandex in red that were little bits of scraps I have from other projects. And I really like that. There's the elastic up there on the top and I will flip it so you can see it the other way. This is how it looks inside. So it's all extended there. These both pocket pieces are sewn together on the bottom. I've just surged that curved edge I made when that was surged. Then I went ahead and attached the front to the back. So this side seam includes all these layers of pockets and the skirt. And it's not bulky, it doesn't create any issue at all. It's a 3 8 seam allowance. The edges have been surged and I have folded up the hem and just done the typical twin needling there to make a nice hem. And it's so, so easy. Now, I think some of you might not like having a pocket that extends and that you can put your hand in there completely. I like that, I don't mind that. But if you want to have two separate like compartments, you could sew a seam there. So from before you're attaching on the waistband and attaching all this bit onto the waistband, you can just sew that together, closed, you know, that there and then just sew a seam. And then when you put your hand in, it's just going to touch that seam and not go to the other side. And it feels amazing on. I can't tell you how nice this feels. Um, yeah, any tummy support is always super nice. This is my shorter Ravinia skirt, rayon spandex. Love these color combinations. Little cami underneath and my Paula top that I wear a lot. It's just a chiffon cover up. I'll show you up close to the pockets. At the top here you can see the curved waistband, super nice, it's got a small elastic on the top and I would always do that if I use a curved waistband with a fabric that is lightweight like rayon spandex, it just won't hold it up on its own. But it's very comfortable and I can't even feel that it's there. The pocket here entrance, I've used a contrast fabric there, as you can see that black fabric extends all the way across my front. And it's the same pieces that you can see there when I put my hands inside. I can touch my hands in there. <laughs> uh, I think that's really nice. And what I've done to the pockets inside feels so nice on. It just feels like I've got extra support there along the front. It feels super nice on. There you can see the gathers there on the pocket that just brings it all in. It's super nice. I love that detail and the binding there. And I made this a shorter length. I like this length. This is my preferred length for skirts. And although I love my maxi, I know these are the ones that I wear the most. It's not a tight skirt. It's not a huge skirt. You know, it's good. So I am very, 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 very happy with this skirt. I know I'm going to wear it a lot. Favorite colors, favorite type of fabric for this. And I love the design, the waistband the pocket thing I have done. I will always do this now, now that I have the pieces modified. So. Thumbs up for me. So my two Ravinias, my stripey Maxi that I love. <laughs> my shorter one i super love them i know these are going to get a lot of wear and the short version uses very little fabric which is always a plus in my book sometimes there are some designs that i make once or twice only just because they just consume too much fabric for what i'm comfortable with in a garment you know but a meter of fabric for a nice skirt is always nice and i'm very happy with them i really hope you give this tiny modification to the pockets a go you saw that it was not hard to do you can use different types of fabric inside and that saves on your main fabric and it's also going to give you a piece that is so comfortable to wear gives you more pocket space if you are the type that will put things in there 
I, in this case, like the pocket there because it just gives that nice support on the tummy. If you like this pattern and you're inspired by my versions, you can use my affiliate link that is linked down below. It doesn't cost you any extra. The pattern will cost you $5 today and I receive a small commission. Now, because this is a re-release, it will be at a discounted price for a week. If you get it today, it will be much less than tomorrow or the days after where it's still discounted, but it's still less today. I really hope you took something practical away for you that you can apply. That is always the goal of every single video that I make. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you very soon with another sewing video. The next one will be very soon because I've got it almost, almost ready. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.